So, you want to be a butternut squash, but they haven't invented the machine to make humans into vegetables yet. That's unfortunate. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at this new awesome trick that literally changes everything for me. Literally changes so many things. Just this simple, simple thing that we're about to do right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing started. As you can see right here, we have default cube, and we don't need the, we don't need the lamp. We don't even need the camera. Actually, we do need the camera. I lied. Um, let's go ahead, and if we hit Shift A and we search for like let's say a plane, as you can see up here in the in the collections tab up here, um, this is all the same collection. So we can call this like default, or default, default. This is the name of the collection. It's default. So inside this default collection, we have camera, cube, and now plane. Now we can hit S to scale up. Now, if we were to go ahead and uncheck this and, and hide it, you can see that it hides everything in that collection. Now, if we hit, if we right-click over here and hit New Collection, we can create a new collection, which is basically a group. If you're if you're getting confused with the, over the word collection, it's basically a group of items in Blender. So, if it's Shift A once again, as you know, I can add in like a monkey, uh, Suzanne. So now I move this over here, and you can see that if I hide that group, then now Suzanne and everything with Suzanne. So all the Suzannes, maybe I add a light in. I can add a point lamp. Everything in this collection. Um, this collection that we created that is collection number two if we hide that everything in that collection leaves now if we wanted to go ahead and make it so that everything in that collection was a holdout shader which makes everything transparent if you don't know we can easily do that but first things first we need to go ahead and go to the uh, main tab here and go to film and check transparent so now when we go ahead and go to render viewport shading you can see that everything that isn't an item is now transparent so that's really cool let's go ahead and hit S to scale this plane up a little bit Maybe it's scaled down. We can add in a lamp and everything. We can put this lamp up here. No need to worry. We'll put this in the main collection, the default collection. We'll call this one holdout. Like that. There we go. But now if we go to if we go to this tab over here. Actually, wait, no. This tab, sorry. Nope, this tab, nope, this tab, no, nope, there you go. <laughs> if you go to this tab right here, you can see that we have this option for holdout right here. Now, what does this do? If I click this, you can see that everything that's in that collection now is the holdout shader. Which is so, so cool. Before we would have to, uh, or without this this feature, we'd have to go and make every single one of these items have a holdout shader as the material. Now this is so much easier just to come in here and just go to restrictions and holdout. This has been here for quite a long time, and I don't really think anyone's ever using it. Um, so this is such a cool thing. Now if we would go ahead and go to render this, you can see that, like I said, it really, really does just get rid of everything. That's Suzanne right here. This is Suzanne. Everything else is just gone that's in that collection. It's so cool. We can do the opposite way around. We can uncheck holdout there, go to the default collection and hit holdout. And as you can see, everything that was part of that collection is now being erased from the view and it's just gone. It's just, it's just, this is so cool and so easy to create uh, holdout spaces without having to make everything the same material. You can make the entire collection, the entire group a holdout shader which is very useful for so many different things i can I, I can think of so many different things i would use this for uh like big projects and stuff where i would want to have everything just be transparent and put something behind uh these these uh, these bits later on in post or something this is such a cool unique thing to blunder um you don't even need the material tab at all for this like i said look at this this is the uh, holdout section right here there's literally no material even on this this is the default principal bsdf it's so crazy but like i said hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one this is such a cool uh a cool little a little piece here in collection properties you can see uh very very cool stuff hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye